name is Stefan and this is my 2006 Cayenne S V8 4.5 liter naturally aspirated off-road machine it's got the advanced off-road pack on it with center and rear diff lock um, it's got detachable sway arms low range it's got uh, ride height suspension where you set it up and down on where, where you're driving for oh, so different all, driving modes all airbags and stuff all airbags haven't had any issues with it yet it's a, a Porsche design so I, I trust it I've, I've heard of people having issues but so it's um, thing. yeah you were saying that it's one of the rare models that usually they come out with it is so there was a thousand nine hundred of these vehicles built um, I sent the VIN number off to Porsche and as far as we know it's the last right-hand drive of its kind left in the world Ah, it's yeah. one of the rare models then. It's ultra rare, yeah. And I send it off-road all the time. I yeah, as, as you guys have seen, uh, we've taken it off-roading as well. So a lot of people say, ah, oh, what are you doing here or stuff like that. You can't be off-roading in it. But this beast goes most of the places where a lot of trucks that I've taken to struggle. So yeah, um, so most of the things comes as a factory for these off-road ready. Um, yep. Which things you have done by yourself? At this stage, I've only done the wheels. That's it. The rest of us. OEM, um, my plans moving forward is to do a two inch suspension lift on the vehicle. Um, that is really just a kit that you buy from overseas, from America, and it's a day's work to get installed. I'm doing a roof rack on the top and a rooftop tent as well. Oh, nice. Um, and then my bar work that I designed is uh, probably going to be in the car in the next month or so. It's uh, a bar running down the bottom, it's got recovery points on it. Uh, four rally lights, nudge bar, and a towage receiver at the front where you can install a detachable winch onto either the front or the back then to help with recoveries. Ah, so you're going to be putting the bar with <coughs> from the bottom or something? Or you're yeah, going to have to so it's, something it's two tubes running around the bottom of the vehicle welded on top of each other with fancy bracketry happening there. I won't bore you with that. Uh, it attaches to the uh, recovery points that's OEM and some other fastness at the bottom same out the back um, so it's it's just a bolt-on solution for helping with recoveries mm, that'll make things easier I hope so <laughs> the 4.5 liter V8 has got 225 uh, 250 kilowatt rather and 490 Newton meters of torque uh, which is just ample for driving on sand a little bit too much for off-roading and rock climbing sometimes you boot it a little bit too hard and uh, you tend to want to slip uh, but the engine is really responsive it just is so well tuned for uh, for off-roading it's also a dry sump so you can't knock off your sump plug lose all of your oil and cause permanent damage to the vehicle that way so Porsche is really thought about everything when building this engine so that's the interior full leather it's a bit fancy but uh, you know that's the way we like it it's got lumbar support heated seats these are all of your controls for low range detaching your sway bars um, diff locks and whatnot and then you've got suspension uh, comfort modes as well and this year is taking your car up and down with PSM is your traction control which I normally turn off in the sand because it's so much fun um, and, and the rest it really just does itself it's got climate control really comfy to drive and on road it is an absolute weapon it is way too fast for what it's supposed to be oh, yeah. but uh, I love this thing it's it's my baby thing, yeah. so wait should we uh, give it a whirl yeah why not okay, well, 